Hi everyone, Mechanic the Dragon here, and today we are going to talk about uh, what you can do while you're making your level 200, your first 200 character, and what you do after you make it. So, before you're making it, well, you can do this before and after. So, what I would focus on is your bosses. On your main character, focus on your bosses. Uh, you can do Chaos Horntail. You can do Normal Zack. Chaos Zack is actually hard. Even on my this character, 2 mil range. Even if I buff up to... Uh, I'll show you. Uh-huh. 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 5 mil range. It's still a hard fight for me. <laughs> 5 mil range and it's still a hard fight. Even like with all these super high damage skills, it's still a hard fight. So, oh look. Oh yeah, that's right. We get a bit more damage if we fail to get, oh well, they don't have magic damage. And then, you know, 4.6 for, you know, 30 seconds, and it goes down from there. You know, 3 mil. Even what seems to be a lot. Uh, that is pretty hard. Uh, so, Chaos Zack is out of the question for a long time. Uh, who else? Hilla. Maybe Pink, Pink Bean. That is a somewhat challenging boss because you gotta make sure you're not attacking it when it has damage reflect uh, other than that it's kind of easy but you gotta do a long quest line just to get to it uh, Ramaru actually I should just pull up this so I don't forget yeah so probably Bullrog but he has a quest does he have a quest line I think he has a quest line I already did it on this character a long time ago Zach you can do this guy, hopefully you can join a party because the more damage you do to it in the party, the more mesos you get. So that's a good way to make mesos. Magnus, hella, uh, let's see. Uh, Pap, I don't know how easy or hard he is on either difficulty because they changed it. I have to redo the pre-quest that I did before. Uh, the CRA bosses you can do. Uh, Von Leon is probably one you can do. I would go easy mode the first day and then on the second day do normal. And if normal is too easy, then do hard. I think hard is a, actually a little bit hard, but it's not like hard hard. It just takes a few seconds on my dual blade to kill him. With, with that damage. Of course, as I said, Chaos Horntail. Uh, Arc? I'm not sure. You can dust them out. I think there's a small prequest. Uh, Cygnus is something you can't kill. Any of these bosses you won't be able to kill. Uh, Golex probably won't be able to kill. They they buffed them like Golex Hell is like the minimum now. That's normal now. And then Ramaru. That's all your bosses. You should be able to do. It. I think that's like all the bosses I do anyway. So it just depends. How fast it will be. Like Magnus still might take a while. Uh, so what else you do is you focus on your link skills. So you can either do level 70 first. And then once they all get to level 70, you can focus on level 120. And then once they're all 120, I mean... The long-term goal is to get them all to two. Well, not all of them, but the ones that have level three get those to two ten, depending if it's good enough to get it there. So like Mercedes for the fifteen percent bonus exp. Oh no, twenty percent. My bad, twenty percent. I need to do that soon. Well, not soon. I'm not gonna do it. Um, let's see. Evan Aron for the Evan for the rune duration. Aron for the combo marbles. 
the XP up. It is pretty good early on. It can easily like boost you levels. But you know, it still falls off once you're like level 190 plus. It'll give you like one, two percent. You know, it's there. It's free. Just do it. Uh Hayato for more damage. Uh Kana for more damage. You wanna get all the damage stuff out the way. Crit rate, you can also do Phantom for crit rate. Uh, Demon Slayer for boss damage. Uh, Cannoneer for more damage. Uh, Zenon for more damage. <laughs> uh, Kaiser for HP, but I usually don't use that. That's more for Demon Avenger. He needs more HP. Uh, what is this? Ignore defense, so Luminous for a bit more damage. Uh, who is this? Oh, Demon Avenger gives you damage. Uh, this is Ignore defense, and incoming damage is reduced. So, zero. A little bit more damage and less damage taken, so that's pretty good. Uh, who is this? Ilium. He gives you more damage the more you move. So characters that barely move, this is kind of eh. But at the same time, if you're training on bigger maps, you have to move. So this is actually pretty good. So 2% and I think it, you can get 6 stacks. Right? Yeah, stacks up 6 times. So 12% more damage. Uh, this is damage if you have debuffs on them. Uh, critical damage is nice. I wouldn't focus too much on that. Uh, arc more stacking damage and then you have your like your basic classes uh, which these are good it's actually more damage but it's more burst damage so I can also add this into my burst damage too but uh, ooh. these can stack like you can have all three of these stacked on one person and these go to level 6, I think. Yeah, it says Mastery level 6, I think. I don't know. Uh, what is this? I don't know what that does. Uh, Beast Tamer for more damage. Some HP. More like crit rate. Crit rate, boss damage. And HP. Uh, yeah. It is a slow grind. So don't forget that Maple Story takes time. It just takes time. Uh, so I guess tips for first 200. So what I did, I did Demon Slayer because his skill. Well, I didn't. I don't. I didn't know if they nerfed it, but his like main damage skill is. Mine is only 250%, so my damage is going to be a lot weaker than his. But his main attacking skill does 480, no, 60% damage. That's really good. He also has a self-heal skill. He can use every 30 seconds. He also has a buff that not only heals him, but also... Uh, his allies. I forget if they have to be attacking to get the heal, but you know, as long as everyone's doing damage, you're getting heal over time. So he has a lot of built-in healing. He also has, once you hit his uh, hyper uh, passives, uh, his dark metamorphosis gives him immunity to uh, damage reflect while it's up. But I don't know if it's for that, you know, first few seconds while it's up or just, you know, the whole duration. That's something I would have to test out. Um, so yeah, other characters like that is Luminous. He has a self built in heal. Um, I think Kaiser has one. Aron has one, I think. 
a battle mage, but battle mage is not something you would <coughs> go for as a new account. Or you try to do like a really strong character. I would say the best first one to do is one that can do bossing and training. So Kaiser is one that his modding is kind of weak, but his bossing is amazing. So I know I may have a lot of burst damage, but my range to my AOE for training is actual trash. And it doesn't, it barely gets better like this. That's when it starts to get better, but I can only use that every like six seconds. Um, so yeah, just look up some videos on really strong uh, non-funded characters. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So just enjoy the game. If you get border training, do quests. And I wish I could say do PQs, but you can't really do them anymore. Because no one really does them because they're slower. Um, one PQ I did forget to mention is, where are you? Nope. Well, there's alien PQ, but this one you need a party. Mm, where is it? Oh yeah, I can't, I can't see it on this character because I'm too high level. Oh no, it's right here. Dimensional invasion. So you can do this for EXP if you get bored, but I think you can only do this five times a day. Sadly, they keep nerfing it. It used to be 10 times. I don't know why they keep nerfing PQs. PQs are a way to bring people together, even though it didn't truly bring people together since you can go solo. But yeah, I guess I'll end it there. That is what I would do. Uh, do do your research do a little bit of research at least or have your like favorite like if you know what character type you like go with that because that'll make you play the game longer of course friends if you have friends but then you know uh future once you actually do get your legion this Legion shop is amazing, so <clears throat> the more characters you have, the more coins you'll get over time, and then the more characters you have higher level, even, the even more coins you'll get, and then, you know, me, I've been saving up my coins, luckily I've been spending them, and then you can, you know, get some epic potentials for free, and make your two-line potentials three lines, and get some free cubes, and and get some powerful rebirth flames. Oh, rebirth, that's what it's called. And get bonus potential, and I don't know what this is, but yeah. <laughs> hmm. Ugh, 110, holy cow. So yeah. If there's any more questions, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video about it because, yeah, it was a fun refresher to train an unfunded character. Of course, with Terror Burning, oh, dude, if I didn't have Terror Burning, oh man, I would have quit. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.